Tari, how good does it feel just to be, you know, back playing basketball? It's a blessing, man. Uh, words can't even really describe um, how happy I am to play basketball again. Um, when I started back this summer, you know, the first time, I almost cried. Damn near going live again because it was just a lot of emotions and, you know, everything coming full circle. Jonathan? After missing the time that you did, where is your game now? And when did you feel it got to wherever you find it to be now? Um, I mean, my game is somewhere it, it, it's similar to where it was last year just you know I think I can shoot the ball a little bit better the game has slowed down for me more um, not being able to play I think gives you a different perspective on the game um, just seeing it from a different angle and when you get back out there there are certain things that I guess you could, didn't pick up on that you do now um, so I'll say the game definitely slowed down yeah. Tari what excites you about <clears throat> not just being back with this team I mean you missed the end of last season but seeing the growth what excites mm -hmm. you about where the team is and where you think it can go um, I mean, probably the same thing that excites everybody else. Young, exciting uh, group of guys who are um, tenacious and just uh, just exciting to watch. I mean, uh, especially, you know, with Reed coming in and me coming back and we got Steven Adams. There's just a lot of energy coming around this team, uh, a lot of positive energy. So hopefully just trying to add to that. Jackson. Tari, you mentioned a moment ago kind of a, a different perspective when you're not playing. What were some of those kind of specific things that you picked up on that you were able to kind of key in on when you were not playing? And then a non-basketball question. I know you're a big movie guy. What's the best movie you've seen since we last got a chance to talk to you? Mm, okay. Uh, so to answer your first question, um, something that I've definitely picked up on is just reading Low Man. Um, I think it's easier to see when you when you just see it, uh, how, how it can be done correctly and incorrectly, and just kind of seeing that. Uh, many a time, like when there's two who's open and stuff like that, reads like that I think have really, really uh, started to present themselves. They're just a lot more uh, evident for me now. And I say the best movie that I've watched, oh, that's a good question. Um, this year, this year, what has come out? We've had some pretty, we've had some pretty bad movies come out. <laughs> we've had some pretty bad movies come out. Uh, that's a good question. What was your favorite movie? And then I, I can maybe piggyback off of that. Now you got to be on the spot. Yeah. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll circle back on this. Yeah, we'll circle. I, I need some time to think about Yeah, it. we'll circle back for sure. Jack. Hey, Tari. Um, Dylan a little earlier talked about how this team, especially towards the end of the year, began to develop a little bit of feistiness, a little toughness on the floor. I'm wondering, that seems to fit your game particularly well. When you saw that, did, does that feel like something that the team is developing, the personality of having a bit of grit and toughness to it? Yeah. Um, I think some some of that is either it's just in you. Um, but for me, like you said, uh, that's just kind of always been my game. That's just who I am. So not really, you know, pretending or being anything other than just kind of myself. And it bleeds into everything else. Brian. Tari, how exciting is it to – finally get a chance to play for a head coach who pretty much has the same mindset that you have. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I played for him last year a little bit, <laughs> not not for too long, but it, you know, Coach Coach Udoka has been really great, um, especially to this young group of guys, um, helping us, like I said before, with our professionalism and just, you know, showing up and, and being the best version of ourselves each day. So um, I'm really excited to work with him. I'm always excited to work with him and I'm just excited to get this year going. Um, Mr. Fertitta mentioned during the uh, training facility grand opening that you know, the Rockets had the deepest team in the NBA. Last year, the uh, Rockets bench was top five in production with yourself and now Steven Adams and Reese Shepard. Do you believe that the Rockets can be the top uh, bench unit in the NBA? I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I don't believe it, do you, <laughs> you know, of course. If I don't believe it, would you? Right. Uh, what's going on, Tari? Uh, I noticed by your IG lives and just your social media, you seem to be pretty close with, with Reed. What impressed you about him, and what have you got a chance to, to get to know? Uh, how have you got a chance to get to know him uh, just over the offseason and that relationship? Yeah, um, really when Reed got drafted, I reached out to him, um, told him, you know, if he ever needed anything um, to reach out to me. And I've just been really impressed with his poise. Uh, coming in as a rookie, you know, certain things could – you know, it feels like certain things might be moving at a mile a minute, but for him, he seems like, you know, he's kind of already been here before, and the level of just uh, professionalism he has is, is, is really nice to see. Thank you, Tari. Yep, thank you. Thanks, Have a good one.